Alrighty then, as you can see I'm back in the bee business. Got two hives this time. Just this morning I took the entrance reducers off of them. I have been feeding them. I got them home just a little over, well almost three weeks ago now. Coming up on three weeks and opened them up after about a week and a half and they had basically made no progress truck going by on the highway sorry about that um, they came in these little plastic mini nukes so I'm saving those um, yeah when I got them it was a Friday they were it was really rainy so put them out there and wait until Sunday when it was warm and sunny and moved them over and I was not planning on feeding them but it's been such a rainy dark May they had made no progress after a couple weeks cluckers are running inside I wonder what's going on maybe it's about to rain again I don't see any dogs or anything showing up maybe one of them will poke his head out and I can shoot it as I said in another video something's been killing my chickens lost like four or five but anyway back to the bees um, I'll check them in another week and see if they've made him any more progress and see the last time I'm pretty sure I went too big too soon I only had one hive and you know as soon as they got the first brood box almost full I slapped on another brood box and two honey box honey supers medium honey supers and you know they lived for a while like that and they all disappeared could have been the very hot summer last summer could have been the very the cold winter snap or it could have been all the uh, moth cocoons that I scraped out when I was cleaning it up to use it use it this time you know, there was a bunch of cocoons in there so I went in and I get googled you know bees and moths and found out about wax moths how they'll move into a hive and occupy it and eventually the bees will get tired of it and leave and the reason they're able to move in like that is because there's too much space inside and the bees can't defend it all from what I read anyway so this time I'm taking a more hands-on approach, keeping a closer eye on them and building slowly. But they are starting to get agitated because I'm standing pretty close to the entrance here. So I'm going to end this and go buy some chicken feed. Anyway, thanks for watching and y'all have fun.